Um, next part. Welcome to part two of this walkthrough. God, my throat is so, so sore from talking. So if you want to do a star again, you can pick this one. So, second star. Foot, foot race with Trip of the Quick. My Trip is slow. Dude, he's slow. Okay, let's talk to this idiot. Okay, but I'm going to Thank you, Mario. The big bob on is nothing but a big dud now, but the battle for the castle has just begun. Other enemies are holding the other power stars. If you recover more stars, you can open new doors that lead to new worlds. My bob on buddies are waiting for you. Be sure to talk to them. They'll set up cannons for you. Okay, talk to this guy here. You need to later anyway. We're peace-loving bob -on, so we don't use cannons. But if you like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all the cans in this course for your, you to use. Bon voyage. If you talk to a pink bob arm anywhere in the course, they'll set up cannons. Now, cannons. They're actually pretty useful. They're actually fun. And it's the only way to reach that floating island um, up there with the tree on it. See it? So anyway, you just hop into a cannon. Use the control stick to adjust up, down, you know. Down to make it go up, up to go, make it go down, left and right to, you know, do it. And press A to sh A or B to shoot. Because I aimed it light and very far, just remember that gravity does change, so it won't go exactly over there, so if I aim for the sign, I won't hit the sign. So anyway, go up to this guy here called Pickle Quick. Hey Mario, is it true that you beat the big bob on? Cool. You must be strong and pretty fast, but how fast do you win anyway? Fast enough to beat me, Cooper the Quick? I don't think so, just try me. How about a race to the big mountain, to the mountain top where the big bob on was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? If you don't want to go, just do that, but press A to you know, choose. But I'll go go. You'll need to get the star anyway. But he's pretty easy, actually. Yeah, long jumps are also good for speed, because you can go actually faster when you're long jumping. Oh, you can run up this slope if you want. Yeah, Mario does take a little Oh yeah, just go in here. Oh, by the way, one, you cannot use cannons to, for this mission, otherwise Cooper the Quick calls you a cheater and you don't get the star at all. So, be aware of that when you're playing. So just go here and the timer should stop. Do not go like onto the pole like this, because it won't stop, so you go down here. And Cooper the Quick will sooner or later come, so hurry up, I haven't got all day. Believe it or not, there's actually a glitch you can do to get zero seconds. I might present a video of it, maybe sometime. It will come sooner or later, maybe. Maybe I'll try to get one. Oh, here he is! Finally! Keep a slow. What took you so long? <laughs> wow, you really are! Fast, a human blur. Here you go, you've won it fair and square. There's our second power star. With power stars, if you take any damage, it automatically gets healed when you land back in the castle. Once you've already gotten will look like those shadowy stars, like in the menu. Shoot to the island in the sky. You need to, you need the cannon for this. As far as I know, if, um, you can get it with the wing cap with no cannon at all. But, but with neither, I think you can. Oh yeah, after you beat Cooper the Quick, there's a Cooper. You can jump on him. And when you touch your shell, you get to Cooper Surf! Because it's huge fun, actually. But if you press um, Z, or you bump into a wall or hit a tree, um, you lose it and it doesn't come back. So, you know, you just press the direction you're going and go slow, um, go fast, and you just rotate. 
Tin, a Tunnel Stick, and a Jump. You can actually go up to slopes. It's actually a huge farm. Try going up the mountain, top of the mountain with this. But anyway, let's focus here. Okay, just aim straight up, otherwise you're going to have issues. And no one likes issues. Okay, anyway, let's read the sign. When you put on the wing cap, that comes a red block. It comes from a red block. Do the triple jump to soar high in the sky. Use the control stick to guide Mario. Pull back to fly up. Press forward to nose down. Press Z to land. But we have to wait until we get the switch. Which I think requires 10 stars to fly around the wrestling. Sometimes if you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point in the course, a red number appears. If you trigger five red numbers, the secret star shows up. It's not that secret, it's just you know, my mission. Now hit this yellow block to make a star on here. Yellow um, exclamation mark box, they'll have stars, one-ups, or coins. Now we have three power stars. Now we can go through all the levels, uh, all the levels in the main room. Beautiful cover, three power stars. Now you can open any door for free on its star. You can come and go from all the open courses as you please. The enemies here are even minutes, so be careful. Let's just check out time. Ah, six minutes. You know, time goes too fast when I'm playing the Wii. Because this is on the virtual console anyway. Find the eight red coins. Now, in if all 15 courses, there's an eight red coin mission. There are eight red coins. When you collect all eight, a star shows up. And eight red coins are... A red coin is actually worth two yellow coins. Just by the way, like so, as you just saw. But, so yeah, you got to find, you got to collect them all. So you should have a minimum of uh, about 18 coins. If my time tower is correct. No, I am. It should be 16 actually. Watch out for change up here. There's a coin here. You watch out for him. Did I get the one up here? If you go on really slow hills, you'll automatically slide, slide so. Here's a funny thing, if you throw a bob bomb onto the chain chomp, it automatically goes up. It's fun. Beware of the chain chomp, it's straight down to get close and press C1 for a better look. Or C up. It's my bad. Scary, huh? See the red coin on top of the stake? When you collect eight of them, a power star will appear in the meadow across the bridge. Now, I'll show you all about it. Haha, ha, you missed me. Okay, let's talk to this stupid sign. Press Z to go. Oh, yeah, we've read this sign before. See this shadowy star here? That's where the star will appear when you get eight, coin, eight red coins. And that's what that sign says. Well, I think this says about the wind gap. Just check. Yeah, you can. Yeah, this just says something different about the wing cap, but still, that sucks. Boring, nobody cares. So I go down here, watch out for the ball line. If you run in front of it, um, it will merely try to go after you. No visitors allowed by the decree of the big ball line. I shall never surrender my stars, for they hold the power of the castle in their glory. They're a gift from Bowser, the Cooper King himself, and they lie well hidden within my realm. Not a whisper of their whereabouts should leave, should leave my... Oh, alright, perhaps one hit. He did start at the beginning of the course, the big ball. I'm so tired of talking, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there's one more. It's on that um, floating Ooh. island. Yeah. This will be the last star we can actually obtain because we need the wind cap for the next one. In Super Mario Galaxy, the cannons were, you know, if you hit the tree, you'll hit the tree, but this one's more gravity wise. Since Galaxy was in space, so, you know, all that kind of crappy laws. What? I don't study physics, and I don't personally care about it. As many of you at my school will probably know. So there's the star there. Right where I said it would be. And you didn't believe me. Okay, apologize to some people who did. Oh yeah, the difference between the 64 and the DS. Um, 64 has only Mario in it. And... And only the wing cap you need to worry about. And the 64 is actually harder. And it doesn't have switch stars and silver stars. Anyway, let's just look at our thing and holy shit. Um, so this is all we can do in this course. So let's go to another course. We'll go to course two. Yeah. We'll go to the second course, Swamp's Fortress. And when you go to a new door when you haven't been before, the star will open if you have enough power stars. Reacting to the star power, the door slightly opens. That's what we'll say every time you do that. Is a toad here? It was Bowser who stole the stars. I saw him with my own eyes. He's hidden six stars in each course, but you won't find them all in some courses until you press the cap switches. The stars you found will show on each starting screen. If you want to see some enemies you already defeated, select the stars you recovered from them. Anyway, Womp's Fortress. To do a kick in the air, you just press B. Just by the way. Chimp off. Womp's Block. Hello, the Lucky Two Brothers. Cut in with a live update of Mario Progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on our enemies. The trick is this, he has to walk very slow in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up building techniques we put on earlier, you can take a look. I'm using the C right and the C left. Press C down to view the action from a distance. When you can't move the camera any further, the buzzer will sound. This is the like Jew Brothers sign up. So you tilt the control sticks only a little bit and then you'll do a sneak. In the DS, you have to use the touch screen to um, uh, sneak. And I never liked the touch screen control in the DS, actually. And these guys are sleeping, so you can sneak to get past them without actually, you know, waking them up. If they wake up, they'll do that. So you just gotta run away from them. This path is narrow here. Easy does it. No one's allowed on top of the mountain. And you know what's good for you? You won't wake anyone who's just sleeping. Move slow, tread light. There's that one bar there. Now, wamps are... Wamps are things that when you go in front of them, um, they will smack into you. This is actually an introduction. I uh, believe it or not, this first star was actually repeated in um, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah, it said Return of the Womp King, except it was slightly altered. So when you go in front of them, they'll try to squish you. So this is the pretty much a bot, a mini boss. It makes me so mad. Build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and you still walk over us. Well, you're not. Well, do you ever say thank you? No, well, you're not gonna wipe your feet on me. I think it'll cost you fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, Gwyn. Oh, hang on, I just got it.